TMNT, the 2007 movie, the Turtles are back after a long absence. It's not in live action, but hey, it's better than nothing. Uh, the fully CGI movie holds a fairly loose continuity with the previous three movies, but I liked how it didn't go in a business-as-usual uh, type of way. Uh, and it actually somewhat progressed uh, the Turtles' story of their lives and their grander purposes. And now that they've had a taste of success and they've grown a little older, it shows where they are now. Uh, it shows the brotherhood of the four heroes has broken. Uh, they've more or less gone their separate ways. They've found themselves living in a world where, even though they were once big heroes, the people of New York don't really need them anymore, and they're stuck sitting around lamenting the glory days and doing odd jobs like performing at children's birthday parties. And hey, You know what, this sounds a little bit like the beginning of Ghostbusters 2, doesn't it? A little bit. Um, but anyway, uh, Leonardo is off in uh, Central America training, trying to become a better leader for his brothers, uh, but doesn't feel ready uh, to come back. Uh, meanwhile, back in New York, Raphael is sick of waiting around and has been spending his nights fighting crime, dressed up in metal armor, uh, becoming known as the Night Watcher. Uh, so the movie definitely shows the turtles in a different place, and after, what, the uh, 15-year gap uh, between movies or so, I felt that was appropriate. Uh, you don't want to feel too comfortable, I guess. Um, things are also pretty different for the human characters. Uh, April O'Neil uh, and Casey Jones are an item now, which is kind of cool. Uh, I knew those crazy kids would make it. Um, and I think they're living together. I'm not quite sure about their situation. Uh, in fact, I'm also not quite sure what April's job is now. Uh, she's almost like some kind of entrepreneur or something. Like, she's definitely not reporting news as far as I know. She keeps talking about like important clients and stuff. I don't know, maybe I missed something. Uh, Casey Jones is still the same though. Uh, still the lovable slob and still occasionally gearing up uh, his hockey equipment uh, to go out at night and fight crime. Uh, April is voiced by Sarah Michelle Gellar and Casey is voiced by Chris Evans. So the movie boasts some impressive talent behind the mic. Uh, the driving force of the plot, which is explained in kind of a Lord of the Ringsy like uh, prologue, uh, narrated by Lawrence Fishburne, is that centuries-old uh, a centuries-old general uh, has uh, given is given the gift of uh, immortality or maybe a curse. Uh, his brothers have been turned to stone. He needs to collect a bunch of monsters to harvest their powers and extract the the right uh, moment uh, to of planetary alignment to lift this curse. And he employs the services of the Foot Clan, still active but with a new leader, uh, Kari, uh, to help make sure things go smoothly. Uh, something like that. It's it, it's not bad. Uh, Patrick Stewart uh, is the voice of the general, now in modern day known as uh, billionaire Max Winters. is at least more than a one-noted villain. Uh, his intentions aren't world domination or anything. He just wants to be mortal uh, again, so he's something of a sympathetic character. It's not the most mind-blowing plot in the world, but I think it works well uh, as a new introduction to the next generation of Turtles films though this never really took off into a film franchise or anything. Uh, now with being completely animation, the story is allowed to be a little more fantastical, and they do take advantage of all that with the giant monsters and more dynamic moves uh, from the turtles and bigger, more elaborate fight scenes. Uh, the monsters probably could have been better. Like, they're kind of goofy designs, almost like the monsters you'd see in, like, you know, Star Wars Attack of the Clones in the arena scene, you know? Uh, they're pretty cartoony, which I guess, you know, fair enough, it's a cartoon. Um, and with the plot involving having to capture 13 uh, of these monsters, at least they're gracious enough to show mostly uh, that through a montage uh, at the risk of becoming extremely tedious, extremely fast. Uh, the animation is pretty good. Uh, I mean, it's not Pixar levels of animated excellence, but it gets the job done. And even though the character designs are a little iffy, uh, they're still able to convey the personalities and fun of the turtles that we all know and love. There's some good stuff. I particularly like the relationship between Leonardo and Raphael in this one, uh, who have always uh, gotten the more interesting plot lines in these movies. Um, and their conflict uh, once Leo comes back, and the resentment uh, that Raph feels towards him. Uh, and Splinter, uh, voiced by the great uh, Mako, uh, caught in the middle of it all, trying to bring peace uh, between his brothers. All that was really good. Uh, in the previous movies, they've always had high tensions, uh, always had their arguments, but in this one, 
they actually face off against each other during a dramatic torrential rainfall rooftop battle, which I thought was really well done uh, from a dramatic standpoint and from a technical standpoint. They animate it very well uh, and choose some unique angles. It is definitely the standout scene of the movie, and I'd say a big fight between the two brothers was a long time coming, and they made it memorable. I thought the big battle at the end was really cool too, uh, with all the monsters and the foot soldiers, and even Casey Jones and April uh, getting to fight alongside the turtles. And I mean, come on, if it's Sarah Michelle Gellar voicing April, you gotta see her kick some ass. So that was fun to see. Um, and she's almost dressed up like Uma Thurman from Kill Bill, so I thought that was pretty cool. Uh, it's a good movie. It's not great, uh, but good. Uh, it doesn't have like the mega 90s stamp of the first three. It's something more modern, and while it is animated, I think it brings us all the things about the Turtles that we find so appealing. Uh, it carries a theme of brotherhood, contrasting the villain's brotherhood uh, with the turtles, and uh, shows what can break them apart and what can bring them together. There's good animation, good action, and it's an entertaining story that tries something just a little bit different, uh, but keeps the spirit of the other turtles' films. I rate TMNT three stars out of four. It's a fun animated adventure that shows the turtles doing what they do best, there's enough fan service for the nostalgics, and it's a modern enough vision uh, to win over the next generation. So pretty good. <laughs> I, thought, I thought it was decent, decent movie. Um, so up, this is the most recent uh, Ninja Turtles movie, um, except for this uh, new one coming out. A uh, lot of hype around this one, a lot of uh, unease around this one. So, you know, since 1990. They've been fairly consistently, ma uh, consistently making uh, Ninja Turtles movies. Um, this new one, who knows, could be good, could be bad. I know, like people are like, "Oh, Michael Bay sucks," which you know, whatever. Not, not the most, you know, Shakespearean movies. I don't know. You'll find from. But he's only producing. Maybe the director will bring something, you know, uh, hopefully worthwhile to the project. Uh, Ninja Turtles, there's no sign of stopping. Even if the movie sucks, uh, you'll you'll probably uh, still see turtles in some form or another. I know there's a new cartoon. I don't really watch it, but I hear that's uh, really well received and people like it a lot. Um, so hopefully we'll, the new movie will be good. What do you think? Is the new movie going to be good? How about this one? Uh, you know, is, is the CGI animated movie good? I know some people are kind of half and half on it. I like it. Um, but let me know. Comment below. Leave me some comment. Comment, rate, subscribe, all that good stuff. Uh, follow me on social media. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, that's all I can say. This has been my Ninja Turtles uh, series review. Hope you enjoyed watching it. Uh, more from my channel soon. Uh, until then, thanks for watching.